Welcome to A Thought for Today. Today is July 10th, 2023, and I am Bro Steph. And I'd like to take a minute and tell you how much we appreciate you spending some of your day with us today. We're going to be reading John 3, 16 and 17 today. And then I'll have some comments for you to think about. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And here's my thought for today. Well-known verses like John 3.16 is a small part of a big conversation. A Pharisee named Nicodemus sought out Jesus under the cover of night with some questions when Jesus quickly turned the conversation to the kingdom of God. Nicodemus struggled to keep up. Jesus told the Pharisee that only believing in him, the Son of God, would provide admittance into the coming kingdom, and that belief would remake all those who believed. But then Christ subtly chided Nicodemus. He pointed out that those who truly wish to do what's right, will do it in the light of day, not the cover of night. If Nicodemus or anyone wants to truly believe in Jesus, it requires obedience in the full light of day. And here's a comment or two that I'd like to add to our thought for today. And around uh, 1960 or so, it became really traditional to be in church. And when the pastor made an altar call, he would announce, bow your head, close your eyes, and pray with me for those that might want to ask Jesus Christ into their lives. And while he was saying this, the house lights would lower to a small dim. I always sat there wondering and looking around. I never really closed my eyes because it didn't make sense to me being a young Christian, uh, 18 years of age. But I would think, why is the pastor having everyone close their eyes. That's not the example set in the Word of God. What are they hiding from? Who are they hiding from? What's going on with this? Well, as I've gotten older, that sense of it just being a horribly wrong thing to do has grown in me, and I still don't quite get why pastors would ask people who want to ask Christ in their life to close their eyes, bow their heads, raise your arm up in the air if you want the pastor to say a prayer for you. You know, the small church I went to in Norwalk, California, Little Lake Baptist Church, that's not what the pastor did there. That pastor would make an altar call and he'd tell everyone, get out of your seats. If you want to ask Jesus into your life, get up, stand up on your two feet and make your way down to this altar and then we'll pray with you. And there'll be someone here who will be available to answer any questions you have. We'll give you a Bible and and really help you to get that relationship with the Lord started. The light stayed on. Eyes stayed open. 
and those that wanted to ask Christ into their lives stood up and they were counted. The Lord said a few things in other places in the Bible where he said, count the cost. You know, understand what you're getting into before you make a decision. And the scripture we read today where Jesus kind of gave Nicodemus a, a hard time because he went to the Lord while it was dark. Who didn't Nicodemus want to see him? Who was Nicodemus hiding from? Was Nicodemus embarrassed or uneasy that he went to visit the Messiah, the King of the Universe? We'll never really know. We can we can speculate that Nicodemus probably didn't want to be seen because he didn't want to answer a bunch of questions in front of the high council of the Sanhedrin. But for those pastors listening in today, next time you make an altar call, don't tell people to close their eyes and bow their heads. Ask them to stand up on their own two feet, put their shoulders back, hold their heads up high and make their way to the altar and then to bow their knee and ask Jesus into their lives where the entire congregation can see them. Look, if we can't make a profession of faith amongst those that support us, then what are we going to do when we're in the world and we're being criticized for our testimony. We're being browbeaten for the way we think and believe, or we're being just criticized and pushed around and persecuted for having faith in Jesus. What are we going to do then if we can't stand up in front of our brothers and sisters in Christ and ask Jesus into our lives? I'll leave you with that question. This is Bro Steph. Thank you again for tuning in to a thought for today. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Remember, keep looking up. Jesus is returning. Bye for now.